One simple but sometimes confusing aspect of working with images inside the main organizer space is how we deal with file names. Now remember, when you actually bring your images into the organizer space, you're actually importing those images into the organizer. Now even though the original images are being kept on your hard drive, things like the file name for the image are actually stored inside the organizer. If you open your organizer and you don't see any file names associated with the thumbnails, it's a simple matter of just going up to the view menu and then down to details or clicking Control D to actually show the uh, file name, the date it was taken, in this case it's the date that, that the image was scanned, and also things like the star rating and the fact that this image is part of an album called Rename. You can see here we have a file name associated with the image and it's very generic and if I roll over the file name you'll also notice that we have a pop-up showing exactly where these images are being stored. That's their physical location. One of the easiest ways I think of changing names is simply select an image and then go up to Window down to Properties. Now the Properties pane is not displayed by default when you first open the organizer but you can display it by simply selecting it from the Windows menu or holding down Alt and clicking Enter. You'll see here we are able to change a range of different options and details to do with our selected image. So notice there's no caption associated with the image. We can easily type in a caption here, Carpet Weavers, and we can change the name, and this is the actual file name, we can change it here. So I'm just going to change it to Afghanistan because this image was taken in Afghanistan and then we can put down some notes here as well. Also notice that we have the ability to alter the date and time so because this image wasn't photographed at the time that it was scanned I can go back through and actually make some changes to the date and time of the file to reflect the actual capture date. We have the option to also reveal where this image is being stored in the operating system or the hard drive of our computer and we also have the option to play any audio files that are associated with the image. Some cameras have the ability to record an audio file and it's stored with the image and this is where you'd be able to play it. So once we're happy with that we can click to another file and you'll notice that the name has been changed here. I'm going to hold down control and hit Z just to go backwards and undo those changes so that we end up with the same file name that we started with. One thing I want you to look at is the fact that if we go through and find this image inside the folders where the original file is kept and we change this image name in the folder, so I'll change it to Afghanistan here. misspelt there. To all intents and purposes you'll think we're doing the same function as what we just did inside element space. But let me close down this browser and look what happens to our image. Notice that in the top left hand corner of our image we've got a little question mark. That indicates that the actual file name that's recorded by Photoshop Elements is still the original one. But where it's stored the name has been changed. So this gives you a bit of an indication of something you have to be careful of. When you're changing your file names, do it from inside Photoshop Elements. Otherwise you're going to need to go and relink your files from those thumbnails that are stored in Photoshop Elements back to the new file names as they're stored in your folders on your computer. Now because I didn't move the picture from the folder, if I just double click on the image now, it will go and automatically find the changed file and add in the new file name. It's very clever. But it's better that you actually just look at changing your file names inside the organizer space of Elements. If you want to actually change the file names of multiple files, let's select all of these three, we can do that as well. Just go up to File and then down to Rename and in this situation we can call it F and this then as the common base name and then click OK and look what happens. It automatically adds a number next to each of the file names 
say Afghanistan 1, Afghanistan 2 and Afghanistan 3 to make sure that they're totally separate file names. If we then go and look at that actual folder you'll see that the files names of the individual files have been changed here as well. So that's the best way for changing the file names inside Photoshop Elements.